The morning lesson will be taken from Joshua 1, reading from verses 1 to the end. Repeating Joshua 1, reading from verses 1 to the end. And it reads, Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' Moses's minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river of the of Euphrates, of the land of Hittis, and unto the great sea, forward, forward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor will I forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage, for unto his people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and be very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithsoever thou goest. Thus this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou, sh that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither thou, be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithsoever thou, thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the of officers of the people, saying, Pass thou the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals, for within three days he shall pass over this Jordan to go into the Go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. And to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to half the tribe of Maseh, spake Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest, and hath given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side, on this side Jordan. But he shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of the valor, and help them. Until the Lord hath given you brethren rest, as he had given you, and they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God had given them, then he shall return unto the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's, ser Lord's servant gave you on the side of Jordan toward the sun rising. And they all answered Joshua, saying, all that thou commandest us, we will do, and whithsoever thou sendest us, we will go. According as we hearkened unto Moses in all things, so will we hearken unto thee, only the Lord thy God be with thee, as he was with Moses. 18 and us, whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto thy words in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death, only be strong and be of good courage. There is a reading of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. Praise God. Praise God. This morning, you know, we're in missions, mission service. Praise God. And we have a team, and we're going to repeat the team this morning. It says, strong finish. Rise the vision. Choose your destiny. Praise God. We're going to repeat it after two. One, two. Strong finish, write the vision, choose your destiny. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. One more time. It is time to make me live.
Somebody else from my left. You must have something to give God thanks for. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Heaven, heaven, heaven. It's the place I long to be. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Where Jesus died for me. Oh, come let us stand door. For Christ is coming soon. Oh 
Somebody else. Praise, Praise God. God is so good to me and I'm thankful to Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank Praise you, Jesus. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Jesus, everybody. Praise Hallelujah. Praise God. My testimony is this. He healed my body. He touched my mind. And he saved me just in time. Praise and I have a good relationship with my God. Thanks of God in my say I'm going to, but I'm going to a full and free salvation. Praise now, when I remember what the Lord has done for me, when my family members stand at the bedside, when the nurse stand at the bedside, they do, could not do nothing. Only Jesus Christ alone could help me. Praise and my God. testimony today is this. No matter what I'm going through, no matter how I feel, he healed my body, he touched my mind, and he saved me just in time. And saints of God, in my, and I understand when I look back and see what is going on in the world. Little babies, premature babies, they have to move them from one hospital to the next because they are booming up the place. Saints of God, I have to see what is happening in this world today. Praise Time is shorter than we think. Let us live for Jesus Christ. Praise Stop the anky panky and live for Jesus Christ. Don't feel no way, but I have to tell it as it is. God has, is coming soon. He's sooner us than we think. Look on the world. Bodies on this world lying down in bags. Hundreds of bodies, babies, little one crying for their mother, little one crying for their father, crying father and mother crying for their children. Saints of God, the scripture says there will be wars and rumors of war, and earthquake in diverse places. You say, you say again when you see all these things, look up. Look up, saints of God. Praise the Lord. Can you stand up? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God, praise the Lord Jesus, praise God. Praise God. Amen. The Lord has done for me. Yeah. It makes me want to go all the way.
God. We worship God. Let us give our soul. God is our praise. God is our worship. Lift your hands. Praise the Lord Jesus. I just love the Lord with all of my heart. Today we come to the end of our testimony. And um, I have a testimony. You know, last night, I think it was like from Friday night, my daughter came home and she wasn't feeling well. She was 
she teach at the school. Mm-hmm. And when she come home, she was like, say, mommy, I don't feel well, I don't feel well. She was like vomiting and having diarrhea and all those things. And then Asha, the, the last daughter, she was sick also. So I said, what's the deal? I mean, two of them one time sick of me, you know? But I pray for them and believe God for the healing, and I do what the Lord told me to do. And this morning, thankfully, they are feeling be- much better, you know? The devil is a liar. You know, when he cannot touch you, he touch your children. But I serve him notice this morning that he is is a defeated foe. And this songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. I just love this song. Let us just stand and sing it one more time. All that he has done for me. Let us sing it in the mood of worship. Oh, my soul cries out.
I live for him who died for me. Oh, happy day, my life shall be. I live for him who died for me. My Savior and my 
indeed he taught us how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, I'm going to ask the deacons to testify. Praise God. Starting from Brother Glenford. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Evangelist Sharon then will give her testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Ethan Michael. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. I will bless the Lord for all time. Not only sometime. Not only when I'm happy. But I will bless the Lord for all time. Praise and his God. praises shall continually be my mouth. God bless you. Enjoy. Hallelujah. Praise God. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister Denise to come with the mission report and to greet the visitors. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord another time. It's such a great privilege for me to be in the house of the Lord for another Mission Sunday. Amen? First, I'm going to start with the greeting. So once you're not a member of this assembly, can you stand at this time? No visitors? Yes. Sister Dion's daughter, that row. Yes, he is a visitor here. He's not a member of this church as yet. So could you kindly stand for us? Yes. Thank you. Okay, on behalf of the mission and our pastor, we are grateful to have you here on our mission Sunday. Feel free to worship God. You could have chosen to be at home. But you are in the house of the Lord. And that is such a great blessing. Amen, everybody. So can the person who is nearby just shake their hand for me, please? Once you're nearby. Amen. You can be seated. I just want to greet Brother Vassal as well. The Lord have bring you and he bring it, brought you back safely. Amen. Can you stand and just do something? Praise God. First, I must say, um, the feelings are strong with this point. And I've been queuing up to know that this is not for me. 
Amen. He has come through so many times. That is my mind as a thief. And I will take my very life because I know he did it before and he's going to do it now and he's going to do it after and further on. So I want to thank everybody. And I want to, I'm happy to everybody. And I want to just give God praise. Amen. And of course, his wife is here, Kenneth Stanan. Just give a shout, Sister Claudia. Praise God. Sister Maureen, we don't know when we're going to hear that voice again. Can we hear that voice today? I want to greet my husband because I know at this time he lost his father and a good man deserves a good wife. Amen? Amen, wives. Praise God. Mission report December 3rd, 2023. And of course, everybody know we're in the last month of the year. And of course, we have something to praise God for. Amen? Because we are still alive. We are not in the hospital. We are in the house of the Lord. Amen, everybody. Praise God. And of course, our team is strong finish. And we are ending this year with a strong finish. In spite of the circumstances, I don't know about you, but I am going to finish with a strong finish. Write the vision. Choose your destiny. Please, everybody, we need to choose our destiny. Amen? Amen. Greeting to all in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King.
mission statement to strengthen our base for a worldwide evangelizing evangelism by opening and establishing new work in on the evangelized area of Jamaica as well as determine and promote specific mission and of course update on our last mission you know it was mission convention amen nobody get anything from that and of course our speakers were pastor crooks Dwayne nelson bishop donald McHugh, and pastor jones and i'm just gonna stick with pastor crooks today and of course some of the things that he was saying that we need to be a bride anybody remember I would not know to be a bride to get ready. We're supposed to be ready in our white, ready to meet our God. Amen, everybody. Amen, Amen everybody. Amen. And we have to remember to what? Fight for our soul. Nobody cannot do it for you. You have to fight for your soul. Amen. Amen. And of course, absent for the prayer walk. There was no prayer walk at this time. Mission offering. The mission ministry is imploring members to continue to give to the cause of Christ. For those of us who are not on board, please to get on board. Where you can't go, your money will definitely go for you. Amen? Amen? Amen. Closing word. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait. I say on the Lord. And of course, I just want to, for the person who helped in the kitchen, just want to give you a little token at this time. So Sister Richard, Sister Bev, and Sister Cecile, and Sister Chantel, can you come at this time, please? Come bridging time is swiftly going. It might not be a great gift, but it's coming from our heart. Amen? Little is much. When God is in it. Amen. And on behalf of our missions ministry, we just want to thank you, show you a little bit how we appreciate you. As Sister Denise said, it might not be, you know, a big thing or whatever, but it's the thought that counts. And, you know, during our missions convention, while we were here inside enjoying the service, the preaching, you were there, you know, working, 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 cooking, so, you know, um, persons can be fed and be energized and all of these things. So we want to thank you. We appreciate you. Keep up the good work and God will reward you bigger. Amen? Amen. Praise God. team to stand and just shout a note of praise two times. Praise God. After the count of two, one, two. One more time. Praise God. I'm going to hand over the service now to our dear pastor. And as he comes, we're going to sing this song before he comes. Redemption coming. Praise
Hallelujah. 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 Let's just stand and let us continue to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. As we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Let us just stand to our feet as we sing to the glory and honor of the Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Jesus, we worship you. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift your name high. Mighty God, there is none like you.
of the Lord today. Come on, let us worship the Lord. Worship the Lord as we sing one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. We're going to finish strong today. Amen, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ain't no giving up. I've got to go on. Show me the way. He give me strength for my every need. Faith to make it all. Hey, we're gonna finish strong today. We're gonna finish strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go the way. He gets hard, but we know. Come, encourage yourself today. Come on. 
trying to say praise the Lord to hear myself. You ever want to hear yourself? Yeah, so you praise the Lord for different reasons and purpose. Instead of saying mic check, I say praise the Lord. I'm hearing myself. That tells me that I'm still alive and I'm still in my right mind. Praise the Lord everybody. Amen. You can be seated for a while. It is a lot that has been happening to us. And um, I want to greet everyone present today that has been here. Greetings to the moderator. Thank you for taking us thus far. I want to greet the mission department the director, committee members, want to greet the musician, and greetings to Evangelist Danvers, which they say she's the first lady of this church, is that right? I wonder which church that is. <laughs> you know, they have a saying to say, lady, first lady of the church, or first church, or something like that. But um, don't get it confused. There's no first lady in God's church. We are neither male nor female. But I just want to do, I just want to give protocols to say, I want to greet my wife, Sister Danvers. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord. And so we sometimes we are carried away with these titles and names. We have to be very careful. Be he careful. Because we have some person call themselves doctors. And they're not doctors, they're just bush doctor. <laughs> Medical medicine. So you have to be careful. And you have some person say they're apostle and bishop and deacon and all of that. You have to be careful of what you're doing. But I want to greet everyone present. I, I hope we can't stay here long for today. Based on the amount of things that we have to do. So I am just... Saying greetings to Deacon Michael, Deacon Snelly Glenford. It's been a while I haven't seen you. Glad that you're here. But he was on the matrimonial, um, not the matrimonial, he was actually, um, give me that name for maternity leave. Men can go on maternity leave. <laughs> can you smile a while and give your face a rest? At least I make some of you smile. What a thing in church, men going on maternity leave. But brethren, in the real world, it happen, it's happening. Because our world is upside down and based on the law that has been exists or about in 10 for Jamaica, we have this kind of law that men marry into men and it, it goes on. But I, I greet everyone present 
of course, all our deacons, greetings, accept greetings. Um, Brother Darrell, Brother Samuel, over there, greetings, accept greetings. I am not looking, I'm just calling names. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everybody. I really want to greet everyone present. Um, Brother Vassa Smelly, greetings to you. Glad that you are here. Sister Vassa Smelly, yes. She knows what I'm talking about. Glad to have you, my sister Smelly, in the house with us and her little one. Amen. It's good to be here. And we have visitors that are here with us. Yes. Greetings to all my visitors that are here. Brother Basil, good to see you. And I'm looking. Amen. Sister Masco, uh, that's my special son. Sister Masco, glad to have you again with us. I was hoping to see the entire family with you this morning. But they are here? Maybe they are tired. All right. So what a funeral it was yesterday. What a funeral that was. Praise the Lord, somebody. Isn't God good? Yes. And so it is that last week we pray for Jaheem. Did we pray for Jaheem last week? Yes. So we pray last week. Did we get a testimony this week? Yes. So what are you doing? Yes. Virgin, I, I, I said it. And I, I will say it again. When it comes to God, don't be in a hurry to say, God, I want more blessing. Make sure when God bless you, how small it may be, make sure you show appreciation to God. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Lord. And this is a principle you need to follow. There were ten lepers that cleansed and only one return. And I want to speak to the United Pentecostal Church. If any other church around town, God has healed us. And out of the ten, I want Luna to be, to be the one that said, Lord, I thank you for healing me. Yeah. Can the church say hallelujah for that? Yeah. Praise the Lord, somebody. And this is a principle we need to follow as we serve the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. I, I'm so glad to be here. And I am trying to work out in my mind the amount of funeral services that we are having. We are having many funeral services. And we are having many persons being sick. And we have a lot of things that have been happening. And I'm, I'm, I'm just saying all of this just to get your attention that things have been happening, but in the midst of bad things, good things are happening just the same. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Alman, my friend, my son. Come and give your daddy a hug. Come up here, sir. Hold me. Come and hold me. No one. to stand to your feet at me, Bridget. We're going to ask you to raise your hands everywhere. Thank God 
love my children. Some of your child would be on the street. Some of your niece.
give a worship somebody give a real worship somebody yes, one last real worship give a worship somebody for yourself give a worship somebody hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah praise you the Lord everybody praise the Lord everyone oh Lord because of the restriction of time I'm going to ask you to remain standing I want to also look at St. John chapter 3 verse 16 and also Acts 2 verse 38 37 and 38 I want you to look up those scriptures. We're going to be look at them quickly to the point, and then we have somebody to be prayed for. Is there anybody in this house you need prayer? Right, Brother Alman, yes, Sister Melissa, Sister Bell, Sister Janet, Brother. Oh, the hands are going up. The hands are going up. The hands are going up. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Some trust in chariot, some in horses, but what? We, tell us, we will remember the name. Push your hand up, don't be afraid to push up your hand. We lift our hands because we remember the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is our word, strong. The righteous run it in. Oh, we are safe in spite of. Praise the Lord, somebody. So we read um, St. John 3, verse 16, and I want to repeat it if it's not there. All right, here is it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him, you should not perish, but you cannot have everlasting life. I want um, Acts 2, verse 37, 38, 39. Before you remain standing, let us look at this word. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. And said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostle, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, my little show. Repent, be baptized, for the one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the removal of your sin, and ye shall receive the, the gift of the Holy Ghost. Verse 39, for the promise unto you and your children, unto all that are far off, even as many. Can you just lift your hands to me, somebody's house? I just read. It's not for me only, but as many as the Lord shall call. Deacon Smack, you can just pray. God bless him on the word, sir. Lord Jesus Christ, as your word has been read, Lord, I pray that every heart, oh God, to hear. The cry of your word. Thy word is so ah, from the beginning, Lord. I pray that you touch every heart, every soul. Let every man come to the knowledge of the truth of your word. For your word, oh God, is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. Let your word speak hey. in the dark, hey. in the night, in the day, in the sunshine, even to the end of the world. At night and deliver. Set free for your people as we declare it in Jesus' name. Somebody say, Jesus' name. Jesus name. You can be seated for a while. My topic today is going to be a little in and out, up and down. But I want to center on the promise of the Holy Ghost. That is my hard topic. If I don't say it again, you can make that my topic. The promise of the Holy Ghost. The promise 
the promise, the promise, the promise, promise, the promise of the Holy Ghost, the promise of the Holy Ghost. You are to be in there when the Lord saved me. You are to be in there when He gave me my promise. Yes, I want to try my very best to get to the point of my thoughts. I'm going to be asking you to give me Galatians chapter 5. Just for edification, I will try to, I want to read from verse 1 of Galatians 5. And I want you to bear with me as I bring my thought to you. All I have is a thought. I have no head knowledge. I have no degree or any doctorate in human theology or in theology, but I, I have a thought. Praise the Lord, somebody. And the Bible speaks clearly in Galatians 1, 5, 1. It says, stand fast. Therefore, in the liberty where it Christ had made us free, free, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. We look at verse 1 before we go to verse 2. And two words, a word catch me out of verse 1. And the word is free. Somebody say free. free. Somebody say free. free. And what we need today is freedom. That's what we need. I wish I could preach, but I'm, I'm going to behave myself to give my thought. Stand fast in this liberty, meaning freedom. God has given to the church, Deacon Michael, freedom. Yes. Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul said, they ask the question, men and brethren, what shall, what must I do? The question is still asking today. People are still asking, what must I do? We have financial problem. We have matrimonial problem. We have parental problem. We have issues on the job at school with our neighbors, with our finance, with our health, in church, out of church, and question being asked, what shall we do? What must we do? Somebody said, we have too much debt. As a fact, we have debt in our time more than ever in Jamaica. Brother Richards, let me use Luna's example. We have never experienced so many debt in our years by. And it's kind of frightening to us on this side. And we say, why we have so much debt? And the question asked, out of this, what must we do? You know what we need to do? Is to repent of our sins. And he goes on. We have a lot of sickness in our churches. We have a lot of sick people. In our churches and our family. And we have sick people that comes to church. And the question being asked, what must we do? I bring you good news. In the midst of all the bad things that have been happening, there is a good news. Praise the Lord, somebody. And the Bible declared to us, what we need to do for you to receive the Holy Ghost. That is my topic today. The promise of 
the Holy Ghost. Let me walk you through quickly. Number one, you must stand fast in the freedom of liberty. When God call you to serve him, it's an opportunity for liberty. He brought you into a space where you are free. He want to liberate you. He want to set you free. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. Somebody say freedom. Anybody here want freedom? Why you don't shout it out? You can disturb my thought. Somebody say freedom. I want more freedom in my life. So the principle goes on to say, you must stand fast. Meaning don't move in the liberty where Christ set you free. It is not the leaders of the church set you free, but it is where Christ set you free. Is anybody here set free by the Lord? Can I say hallelujah? And the writer said, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And the Bible went on to say, lay aside every weight and sin that easily beset us. Did you know in the church, even in the very church, we have weight and we have sin that easily beset us. And here is it. The Apostle Paul says, behold I, Paul, I say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. Verse 3 says, verse 3 of Galatians 5. Are you with me? For I testify against to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to the law. Now, what God wants is people who are changed. People want, the Lord wants, the Lord wants to see people that are changed. Is anybody here changed? You sure you are changed? So if you are changed, why you still do some whole things? I'm going to talk to you this morning. Because the promise of the Holy Ghost is for you. But before you can receive the Holy Ghost, you have to read the book. If any man be in Christ, what? He's a new creature. All things are what? Pass away. And behold, all things become new. When I was about to receive the Holy Ghost, I was between sin and unrighteousness and unrighteousness. I want the world at the same time I want Jesus. Come on, talk to me. I want to stay in the world, but I want Jesus. And what happened to me, I bridged the gap. What I did in my subconscious mind, I make less of the world addiction be less. I try to minimize the lust of the world. Come with me, somebody. So I was trying to circumcise my mind from the lust of the world. Because when you're in the world, you become addicted to the world. Is anybody addicted to the world? Can you praise the Lord with me, somebody? Somebody said, the promise of the Holy Ghost is yours. You want to receive it today. And I did, I did minimize my addiction for the lust of the world. And Brother Grenford, I, I just, I bridged the gap. And I allow my mind to be more on God. Oh, tell somebody how I cross over. There's a song says what? Oh, I, I don't know how I cross over. It must be God. Because when you want to leave the world and serve God, it can be very challenging. And so I bridged the gap. And by doing that, my mind was circumcised. So I now pay more attention to the voice of God. And then I pull closer to him. And the closer I get, the more I can see. And now we understand that the Apostle Paul said that he are fallen from grace. Christ is become of none effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, he are fallen from grace. Verse 5 of Galatians 5. Yes. Verse 5 of Galatians 5. And it goes on to say, For we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith and you got to understand that when you come to God 
you must be holy before you can tell this story. And if you're going to receive the Holy Ghost, you have to change your lifestyle. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. And let me take it a little further. And brethren and friend, even after you receive the Holy Ghost, you must make sure you constant change your lifestyle. Is anybody here working on your lifestyle? My job up here is very challenging. Because when I cook, I make sure everybody has to eat my food. Am I speaking here, somebody? I even cater for the diabetic too. Am I speaking here, somebody? Or oh, praise the Lord, somebody. So when you receive the Holy Ghost, afterward, you still have to circumcise yourself. Now the point is that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Whole things are passed away and all things become new. In other words, if you receive the Holy Ghost, what are 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you cannot be doing the same old thing. And one of them, you must love your enemy as yourself. You can't say you love Jesus and hate your brother. That means you're a murderer. And when you talk about sanctify, righteousness, you got to let holiness, you have to maintain that. And so God will have me to tell us it doesn't matter how long you receive the Holy Ghost. I am talking to you presently. You can receive the Holy Ghost for 25 years. And you demonstrate the Holy Ghost. But I speak to you right now. Right now. If you are in the gall of bitterness. As much as you have the Holy Ghost and it moves you. If right now you are not talking to your brother. You are a murderer. It's not me say it in St. John verse going down there. You have to love your enemy as yourself. And you have to bless your enemy. Feed them. Even when they despite, you still have to love them. Can somebody praise the Lord here? I don't go on off track. I'm just preaching the full gospel message. Amen, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. Because to receive the Holy Ghost, you have to be circumcised. And you say, Pastor, what do you mean? I'm not totally excited like many persons do. We are very excited when somebody has the Holy Ghost. I am not a very emotional person, even though I am. I'm not very emotional, even though I am. Because when the Spirit of God comes on me. I can't tell God what to do with this little body in that sense. Amen? But listen to this version. We got to understand that when a man receives the Holy Ghost, everybody is rejoicing. We must do that. But on the contrary, it's more important to give our energy as to how we keep the Holy Ghost alive. I wish somebody, the church is quiet on me this time. Because anybody can jump and speak in tongues. That is just one day thing, you know. A one shot that. Praise the Lord, somebody. <laughs> That's a one shot thing. <laughs> because when I got the Holy Ghost, it was a Sunday evening. And it was just one Sunday that I got the Holy Ghost. And I have to live the rest of Sunday evening until now. Can somebody praise the Lord be here? And so the promise of the Holy Ghost would help me to help you in verse 5 for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Verse 6. Just bear with me as soon close. Verse 6 of Galatians 5. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision but faith which work by love. For God so what? Love. You are with me, right? For God so what? Love the world. So anything we do, anything we portray, 
the love of God must be the center of that. Oh, praise the Lord, somebody. The Bible said that. Charity separate long. And the greatest of these is charity. I give my body to be burned and I do all miracles and I work signs and wonders. But the greatest of these is charity. For Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything but faith which worketh by love. Verse 7. Galatians 5 7. He did run well. But who did hinder you that he should obey the truth? Verse 8. Not obey the truth. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. Verse 8. Verse 9. A little leaven leaven the whole lump. So I'm trying to conclude my thought. The promise of the Holy Ghost. For you to receive the Holy Ghost, there can be some little foxes and some little leaven that prevents you. Let us look at verse 10. I have confidence in you through the Lord that he will be no more otherwise minded, but he that trouble you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he may be. Verse 11. Let me run on. And I bridge if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross cease. Verse 12. For bridging. Verse 12. I would, I would they were even cut off with trouble you. Verse 13. For bridging, we have been called unto liberty. Only you was not liberty for on occasion to the flesh. Can I finish my thought, somebody? I told you that I am not emotional, but I am emotional. I'm not trying to contradict your thoughts. And my desire is to see somebody receive the Holy Ghost even today. And that's the reason why I'm trying to do this. Virgin, we have been called unto liberty, freedom. We have received the Holy Ghost. We are set free. We are rejoicing. We are experiencing the Holy Ghost. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. And sometimes, Brother Darrell, the Holy Ghost that we love, it will, it sometimes, if we are not careful, it will pump up our flesh. And sometimes when you are dancing, when you finish, you find you are just dancing in the flesh and the flesh alone. And then at the end of the day, the Lord doesn't get the glory. I want God to get the glory in the church. And sometimes God can't get the glory because too much flesh. The church is quiet, but praise the Lord anyhow, somebody. But the apostle Paul said, brethren, you call unto liberty. You call unto the Holy Ghost Church. You call to speak in tongues. You call to prophesy. You call to heal the sick. You call to work miracle. But this liberty, don't use it for the glorifying of your flesh. Somebody lift your hand and praise the Lord, somebody. So when I come to the altar for somebody to receive that, you know what happened to me this week? I went to some church ago, and let me tell you, Bridget, it happened to me. I want to share it with you. I went to church many times in the UPC church. Over the years, I've been into altar service. <laughs> and at one point in time, I heard it many times, but this particular time, the last one I heard, after the altar service, the per a person... Somebody comes to the, the person was the halter. I watched, Bridget, you don't know, but I watch every service. And the person said to the Bridget who is tarrying, Brother Haran, the person says, Did you receive the Holy Ghost? I was blown away. Let me talk to the church. That is flesh. If a man received the Holy Ghost, you don't need to ask him. 
Because the Spirit will bear with. Come on to all the Pentecost. Get out of the flesh. I feel radical here today. I want to trample some flesh. God want people to receive the Holy Ghost at our altar, but too much flesh. You can smell me. Can you allow me to preach a little more, sir? My topic is the promise of the Holy Ghost. Deacon, the Lord already promised the church the Holy Ghost. He, Peter said, repent. After you repent, then you must be baptized. And after you're baptized, he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you. And come on, come on, come on, musician. Acts 2, 38, 37, 38, and 39. For the promise is unto you. Unto what? Unto what? Unto what? Even as many. Somebody say many, 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 many. Sister Peaches, many people in this community want to receive the Holy Ghost. But I think sometimes there's too much flesh. How much time do I have to leave here? So Peter said, the problem you have with your question, and we are asking how the Pentecostal church, we are not seeing, I wish I could talk to the church. Brother Hurrying, sometimes some young people of your peer say the church is boring because we, we talk about whole time Pentecostal and we talk about people feeling their cheer and they heard it but they are not seeing it. The church! <laughs> Sister Peaches, just pray for me. Just whisper, where are they for me? The church, Deacon Smiker. Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel I want somebody to pray for me. You just stay and just, just breathe a word for me. Just breathe a word for the altar. People ready to receive the Holy Ghost. People are willing to receive the Holy Ghost. People come many times, but flesh. My purpose of talking to you is for somebody to receive the Holy Ghost. But Deacon Smichael, the devil allows some little foxes and some little lukewarmness to come in. And people start to live unholy. And people start to call holiness righteousness. And people just live anyhow and come to church and pray and sing. And you think it's all right? It's not all right. Musician, give me a praise over there. Give me a praise, musician. We want the Holy Ghost Church to come back. But today, this mission Sunday, we must get flesh out of the way. Give me a praise, musician. And when the day of Pentecost was come, they were in one place with one accord. Can you give me a hearing for a second? Thank you for working with me. But give me a hearing for just a, a second or two. Deacon Michael. They were in one place with one accord. Is the church on one accord today? Is there any brethren from Luna? You come to church and demonstrate as a Christian. And in the week you live like a devil. If you are here, you are in trouble with God. Because God told me to tell you. 
The darling house is over. Sister Danvers, when we try to interfere with God's business, he becomes radical. God will spoil your plan. Dare to be a Daniel. Dare to stand alone. Dare to let the purpose be known. The promise of the Holy Ghost is yours. But they were in one place with one accord. Is the church on one accord? How you live with your neighbor? Do you have anybody we're not talking to? Do we have anybody who will show a sour face? Do you? How are you and your family living? Are you living good? Living good. Let me close. Virgin, don't use liberty for the occasion of the flesh. But by love, serve one another. Can I call Sister Chris? Yes. I'll just call your name. I know. You're not going anywhere. This church is your church. You can't go anywhere. No way. You. I know that. You, you can't go anywhere. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. As much as, as much, as much as it's been, you can't go anywhere. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. I want to submit to you that, but by love, serve one another. Verse 14 of Galatians 5. I want to go down quickly. Verse 14, Galatians 5. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor, thyself. Can you raise your hand, somebody? Many times we preach Acts 2.38. But I want to say in closing, many of us preach a preach. And sometimes we don't preach the whole book. Sometimes we are all guilty as ministers and preachers. We don't preach the whole book. But God would have me to tell you a part of the whole book. And sometimes as preachers, we are in a hurry to tell you about fire fall from heaven. We are in a hurry to tell you about Elijah called fire from heaven. We are in a hurry to tell you about how many thousands received the Holy Ghost. And we are in a hurry to tell you how Pentecost can fall. And we are in a hurry to tell you how much person can receive the Holy Ghost. But many preachers don't take time out to let people know that the Lord cannot pour wine in a dirty vessel. I kind of feel lonely up here. I kind of feel lonely. Many preachers in a hurry to tell you. And they never take time out to tell you that you cannot sew a new garment to a whole garment. Many preachers, we want to get the excitement. I preach and 25 persons baptize and 50 fill, which is good. But how many remain in the church? Come on, musician, give me a praise. How many remain in the church? I want to stop. I want to close. I want to make another call. But today can be the day when this mission service 
we turn and you leave and we say God we're gonna approach our heart differently we're gonna let self go. do myself in touch come and stand to your feet somebody get self flesh worship musician get flesh out of the church Worship the Lord somebody. Worship God somebody. Pentecost want to repeat, but there are some things in the way. Get it out of the way. Sister Fuller, we want to get the flesh out of the way. Come on, people. We want to get God promised the Holy Ghost. It is here, but something is preventing it. You agree, praise the Lord with me, somebody. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. Thyself. Verse 15. But if he bite. And devour one another. Take heed. Take heed. I kind of feel lonely up here. I feel like I kind of feel lonely up here. Hallelujah, somebody. Brethren, if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you not be consumed one of another. Verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit. And he shall not fulfill the rest of the flesh. Can you just raise your hand at me? Give me a praise, musician. Give me a praise. God wants to move in his church. People are here to receive the Holy Ghost. Even today. somebody worship. Bring somebody to the altar if you wish. People are here to receive the Holy Ghost. This I say, brethren, walk in the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit and he shall not fulfill the loss of the flesh in church. Many Sunday morning, we are fulfilling the loss of our flesh. Can you raise your enemy, church? Musician, thank you for helping me. Musician, thank you. Pentecost can be repeated. Pentecost can be repeated. Pentecost can be repeated. This I say, virgin, walk in the spirit. Many times we come to the altar. We come to the altar with too much flesh. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Many times we come to fulfill the flesh. We cast in the glory of God. Because flesh is in the way. Worship the Lord in the name of somebody. You can, can, you can disturb me. Just worship God. I am not important. Just worship God. You can't disturb what I want to say. Mighty God. Get the flesh out of the church. Too much flesh in the church. If you want to come to the house and sing, it's up to you. If you want to walk out of the seat, shut off the flesh. Shake off the flesh. Come on, Bridget. Hug up somebody. Love one another. Somebody who didn't... You don't love somebody. Hug somebody. Love somebody. Walk to this altar. Shake on the flesh. Give a worship. 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 The promise of the Holy Ghost. Sister Shafika, the Holy Ghost is yours. Sister Shafika, the Holy Ghost is yours. Walk in the spirit, my sister. Just walk in the spirit. Sister Shafika, 
Walk in the spirit, my sister. Don't care about anybody. Brother Philbert, the Holy Ghost is yours. Just walk in the spirit, not in your flesh. Come on, church. The promise of the Holy Ghost is yours. The promise of the Holy Ghost. Walk, somebody. Walk, 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 walk. Walk out of your flesh. Yes. Walk out of yourself. Come on. Verse 17 of Ephesians 5. Walk out of your flesh. Come on, somebody. Walk out of your flesh. Children, everybody. For the flesh lusts against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. And they are contrary one to another. So they that are they that you cannot do the things that you would. Come on, somebody. We're gonna spend a few minutes at the altar. As my taught to you today, the promise of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Come, come, come. Come. Don't be weary, brethren. Don't be weary. Don't doubt anybody. Even though the person might not show a sign of repentance, still pray for them. You never know what is in their heart. The person might not look serious about the halter, still encourage them to come. You never know what is happening to their heart. The flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, they are contrary, the one to another. So they that in the flesh, you cannot please God. Come everybody. Verse 18. Verse 18. Yes. But if he led at the spirit, and verse 19 tell you, I want you to come. I'm waiting for you to come. The works of the flesh, they are manifest. In the name of Jesus. Come for some reason. These are the works of the flesh. I want to quickly tell you. The works of the flesh. They are adultery, fornication, uncleanness. These are the things we are fighting against as a church. Deacon Smith, just raise your hand for me, somebody. We want to lift our hands against the works of the flesh. Come on, everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, I wish I had some believing people in the church to stamp out the power of darkness. Sister Bar, thank you. Raise your hand, my sister. Brother Vassal, God bless you. Stay with me, my son. Did we have some work? Oh, God. The works of the flesh is too much in the church. Sister Iselin, God can't work. Too much flesh is among us, my sister. Can we lift our hands? The works of the flesh. Adultery. Lift your hand against adultery, brethren. The works of the flesh. Lift your hand against these things. Fornication. Lift your hand against these things. The works of the flesh and cleanness. Lift your hand, church. We are cursing them right now. Cursing them. The works of the flesh. Can we curse them? Lasciviousness. Lift your hand, church. Can we curse these things out of our flesh? Out of my flesh. Out of my Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Receive the Holy Ghost. Rece As you speak to yourself, get these out. I want to receive the Holy Ghost, but I must get these things out of my flesh. Lift your hand, somebody. Verse 20. Verse 20. Lift your hands against idolatry. Come on, church. Idol worship. I want the Holy Ghost, but things keep coming to my mind. In, come on, church. I wish I had a church. We are, we are stamping against the spirit. There's a spirit in the flesh. Idolatry. Lift your hands, somebody. We have people in church. They can't get better. They want to go to hope your man. Can we lift up? Jesus Christ? Come on, Holy Ghost Church. We know I go down there. If God can heal me, nothing can heal me. We're gonna lift us against witchcraft. Work to the flesh. Come on, somebody. This is medicine for everybody. This service is a medicine for you. My unsaved by sliders. This is medicine for you today. Come on, everybody. We are lifting our hands against the works of the flesh. Idolatry. Witchcraft. Hatred. Lift your hands, somebody. Variance. Immolation. Wrath. Come on, church. Musician, give me a worship. We are lifting our hands against this thing. Deacon Michael, the works of the flesh is too much in the church. The world 
Have it fresh. It's too much in the church. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Can we stamp it out? Can we kick it out? Kick it out. Can we stamp it out, somebody? Don't be afraid. Lift your hands. Emulation, rod, strife, sedition, heresies. Verse 21. Verse 21. Envy. Lift your hands, brethren. The works of the flesh. Envy. The works of the flesh. Murder. The works of the flesh. Drunkenness. Lift your hands, brethren. Musician, help me here. The works of the flesh. Reveling. Come on, church. Lift your hands. Ooh, somebody pray for me over here. Somebody pray for me over here. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is promised to you. The way is now clear. The Holy Ghost is yours. But we have to get some things out of the way. Get some things out of your life. Somebody. We have a few minutes leave here. Just a few minutes. Musician, just give me a worship. My thought to you today, the promise of the Holy Ghost is yours. Brother Philbert, it's yours, it's yours. The promise is yours. Yes, the promise is yours. Oh, shock of ah! The words of the flesh. Can somebody lift you on again? And say, flesh. Flesh, get out of my way. Flesh, keep a worship. Keep a worship. For a few minutes, we have. Keep a worship. Keep a worship. Yes, keep a worship. Yeah. Come on, son. Too much flesh in my marriage, in my family, in my home, and the job, at school, in my community. I'm all my co worker. The flesh is rising too much against me. People just get, people just rise against for nothing. People just come again. People just start to hate you for nothing. The flesh is too much. We need to pray against the works of the flesh. I wish the church would pray with me here. Keep your hand in somebody. Sister Chris, pray for me as you pray for yourself, my sister. Can you keep on praying, somebody? Hallelujah. 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 Yes, keep on praying. Keep on praying. As I pray for you, you pray for me. Everybody's praying right now. Virgin, we are about to go, but please don't leave the service. Let us pray one for another. Yes, we should do that together. We are doing that. Just keep on worship. Keep on worship. Just keep on worship. Lord.
action, no result. Praise God. But today we, re we believe in the true report, which is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. And you just lift your hands if you are feeling sick in your body. And you have been going to the doctor, taking test upon test. Today you prevail over that sickness. It doesn't matter what it may be, you prevail today. It doesn't matter what it may be, prophesy over yourself. Lay your hands upon yourself and say, I prevail.
the chastisement of your peace, Lord mighty God, will open you up by your stripes. We are here. And so today, Lord God Almighty, I pray, God Almighty, for a divine intervention, Lord God. I pray, God Almighty, that those of who are feeling sick in the body, those of who are feeling pain, oh God Almighty, I pray today that you will lay your hands upon them and erase those pain, mighty God. I pray, God Almighty, so many of them, Lord God, are on medications. Oh God Almighty, they're Omar like pharmacy. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God Almighty, for your blood. Oh God Almighty, oh God will never lose its power to visit them even now. Oh God, let your blood run through their vein because mighty God just work for a time but God Almighty when you reach down and you touch your children and you heal them they are healed totally mighty God I pray to the Lord God Almighty that you will touch us oh God those of us at home oh God that are feeling sick is a beckon oh God let there be a visitation of your Holy Spirit right now I send an angel right now to lay hands upon her right now in the name Jesus Christ, could we stretch our hands towards Quesco right now? Hallelujah, declare healing for Sister Beckiana, body in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever it may be, God, we root of every sickness, we root of everything, God, that is not of you, Jesus. Her body belongs to you, God. Her body don't belong to sickness. So to the God, we pray that she shall. She will and she prevail over every sickness in the body. In the name of Jesus, and I pray, God Almighty, those of who are feeling broken hearted, oh God, mend the broken pieces of their life right now. Oh God Almighty, and as we're about to go, I pray, God Almighty, that you will go with us, Lord Jesus. I pray, God Almighty, that there will be testimony from this service. I pray, God, that there will be testimonies from this service, Lord God. I pray even now that you will go with us, mighty God. Continue to guide us. Continue to protect us through the course of this week. Oh, God Almighty, I give this week to you, mighty God, as the end of us. Oh, God Almighty, help us to walk in the spirit so that mighty God will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Oh, God Almighty, help us to hide your word in our hearts so that we might not sin against thee. Go with us today. Bless us, mighty God. Let peace continue to reign among us. In your mighty name, I pray. Could you just lift your hands and just say in the name of Jesus.